Let's look at how sentiment relates to market cycles. Investor sentiment alone usually does not derail a bull market or jumpstart a recovery from a bear market. But investor sentiment can be a good indicator of what stage the market cycle is in. Sir John Templeton, one of the 20th century's most pro prominent investors, famously said, bull markets are born on pessimism, grow on skepticism, mature on optimism, and die on euphoria. This chart shows the typical evolution of investor sentiment during a bull market. At the beginning of a bull market, stocks are climbing their way out to the depths of the last bear market. We believe this process is usually driven by improving economic fundamentals and a gap between perception and reality. In other words, markets tend to recover when investor sentiment is more pessimistic than appropriate given the strength of the economy. As markets recover, skepticism begins to replace pessimism. While it may seem that the coast is clear, investors in financial media alike cannot forget the losses of the recent bear market. During this phase, you'll see a lot of are we sure it's over news stories, for example. As the saying goes, time heals all wounds, and before you know it, the market has been on the rise for a substantial period of time, and investors start to get generally optimistic. This is when investors feel upbeat about the future of stocks and start to cautiously get back in. During this phase, while economic fundamentals are typically strong, news media and investors alike still find plenty of things to worry about. Worries can include rising interest rates, falling rates, slowing GDP growth, rising oil prices, really just about anything. As the bull market charges on, investors start to forget what they endured in the last bear market. And this is when widespread investor euphoria can set in. During this phase, headlines may seem almost universally optimistic. Headlines might focus on the next hot stock or sector or alternative investment. At this point, you're also likely to see a lot of overvalued initial public offerings and investors confident the markets will continue to go up. Often this optimism is supported by the belief that it's different this time. We're skeptical of this sort of thinking, which was widespread during the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s. Investor euphoria can drive markets up to the point at which no more investor demand is left to drive stock prices any higher. And once investor sentiment reaches euphoria, reality struggles to keep up with these hot, sky-high expectations, which typically leads to a bear market. While euphoric sentiment alone does not usually lead to a bear market, when detached from a backdrop of negative fundamentals, it can be a sign that a bear market is starting. The typical sentiment during a bear market is almost a dark mirror of sentiment during a bull. It starts with the euphoria that ended the last bull market, then deflates as economic fundamentals noticeably fall. Fear increases as the negative volatility sets in, then the bear market ends in panic when investors have an extreme negative reaction to any new information, even whispers. At this point, many investors have little faith in the potential for markets to recover, and they feel they won't be able to invest in stocks again. At this point in the market cycle is complete and the next bull market starts. Keep in mind, every bear market in history has been followed by a bull and over time, bulls have been far more pow powerful than bears, leading to stocks high average returns over the long run. Nobody is perfect at navigating stock market cycles, even us. But understanding what moves the market and how the different phases of the market cycle work is critical for any market forecaster. And it can be valuable for any investor looking for a better idea of what to expect from the market. We believe that the more investors know, the less likely we are to make mistakes that can set us back from our investing goals. If you like this content and would like to learn more about bear markets or capital markets in general, please subscribe to the Fisher Investments YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.